A local restaurant has 16 vegetarian items and 9 non-vegetarian items on their menu. Some contain gluten while the rest are gluten free. One evening Rohit and his friends went to the restaurant. They planned to choose two different vegetarian items and three different non-vegetarian items from the entire menu. Later Bala and her friends also went to the same restaurant. 16 veg and 9 non-vegetarian. Bala and her friends also went to the same restaurant. They planned to choose 12 different vegetarian items and one non-vegetarian item only from the gluten, gluten free options. The number of item combinations that Rohit and his friends could choose from given their plan was 12 times the number of item combinations that Bala and her friends could choose from given their plan. Nice. I'm going to grab this. First of all, 16 veg and 9 non veg. What does Rohit want to do? Rohit, they plan to choose two different vegetarian items. 16 C2. Into three different non-vegetarian items. 9 C3. This is what uh, Rohit and his friends get. 16 vegetarian items. So 16 C2 and three non-vegetarian items 9 c3 from the same from the entire menu later bella and her friends not bala and her friends bella and her friends at the same restaurant they had to choose from two different vegetarian items and one non-vegetarian item from only the gluten food so we don't know what that is so m c2 into n c1 and the option that rohit had is what bala had into well. Nice. This we can calculate that we have to guess. So this is 16 into 15 by 2. This is 9 into 8 into 7 by 1 into 2 into 3. And nice. Now I'm, I'm already anchoring myself towards the weird numbers. And 16 by 2 is 8. 15 is 3 into 5, small numbers. 9, 8, 7, 9 as a 3, 2, 8 as lots of 2s. 7 is a funny fellow. There is a 7 here. There has got to be a 7 here. So M has to be 7 or 8 or N has to be 7. Right? So this is M into M minus 1 by 2 into N into 12. There's got to be a 7 somewhere here. It could be 8 into 7 or 7 into 6. And then n is the remaining. Or n is 7, m is the remaining. One of these two combinations. Or m could be 14 because m is large. n cannot be 14. m could be 14. Or m could be 15. 15 into 14 by 2. 14 into 13 by 2. Those are the different combinations that we have. If we can locate one, then we can locate the other. We can find one, then we can find the other. Now we're going to get drill down deeper into this. One into two into three. So this three gets knocked down with this. This is four. Three into four, nice. Eight into fifteen. So three into four is twelve. Three into four is twelve. That goes away. That side. Eight into fifteen into seven. Eight into 15 into 7 is what is remaining 8 15 7 the denominator is completely cancelled is m into m minus 1 by 2 into n m into m minus 1 into n into 2 i'm going to put the 2 here nice so 14 into 15 into 8 that's a possibility so this is 14 into 15 or what we are saying is m could be 15, n could be 8. That's a possibility, and which is very interesting. So m is 15 and n is 8. So 15 comma 8 is a possibility. If I put m as 14, it doesn't work. Could m be 7, 7 into 6 and n the remaining? And let's think about this. 7 into 6 into n is 8 into 15 into 7 into 2 7 gets knocked off 2 get knocked off 3 5 3 gets knocked off 
n has to be 8 into 540 that's not possible that many are not available so that's ruled out could m be 8 so 8 into 15 into 7 into 2 8 into 7 into n n c1 8 into 7 goes n has to still be 30 that's not possible it's not working so m is 15 n equal to 8 this works 15 into 14 by 2 into 8 and so choose two vegetarian items and one non-vegetarian item so mc2 into nc1 okay so vegetarian items are 15 and 8 in this pot so 15 are gluten free 8 are gluten free nice nice so what is the question now how many menu items contain gluten out of 16 15 are gluten free out of 8 out of 9 8 are gluten free 1 1 contain gluten 2 totally wonderful question nice and tough properly challenging question answers to Hush.